Welcome to ForexTV.com. It's Thursday, December 27th. I'm Remy Hoki for New York Forex Market Buzz. In afternoon North American trade, Euro dollar is trading at the 146.40 level. Sterling dollar is at 199.55, while dollar yen is at 113.68. And taking a look at today's U.S. data releases, the Conference Board's Consumer Confidence Index rose to 88.6, which was better than expected. November's reading was upwardly revised to 87.8 from 87.3. And the Commerce Department reported that durable goods orders were up 0.1% in November. Ex-transportation durable goods orders fell by 0.7%. And last but not least, U.S. initial jobless claims climbed 1,000 to 349,000 in the week ended December 22nd. Joining me today is Matthew Strauss, Senior Currency Strategist at RVC Capital Markets. Good afternoon, Matthew. Uh, good afternoon, Remy. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, in today's session, we're seeing uh, continued dollar weakness against the euro, and in current trading conditions uh, following the Christmas and Boxing Day holidays and ahead of year end, a uh, euro dollar is higher um, from yesterday's uh, session, um, which was around 144.92. But we saw a push of uh, euro sterling up to a high of 73.39. So fundamentally and technically, um, do you expect to see a pullback in euro dollar and euro sterling? Uh, I think we, on on both accounts, we think the trend that we're currently seeing that uh, re-emerged uh, two days ago uh, should be more sustainable as we go into here uh, into the year end and, st and starting 2008. Uh, firstly, on the euro dollar, uh, the, we've seen that as we were heading into uh, the uh, December the 25th into these holidays. Uh, there was some a bit to the U.S. dollar, but soon afterwards, already yesterday, uh, sentiment turning, and then this morning with further uh, softer data through uh, durable goods orders and especially the initial jobless claims that came in uh, higher than expected. Uh, the market uh, saw that as another sign to sell the uh, U.S. dollar, and we think this trend will continue. Um, it seems that even though this, it's a very thin market at the moment, there is some underlying fundamentals why the U.S. dollar is again uh, weakening. On the euro sterling side, a uh, very similar story that there is fundamentals driving the current trend. Uh, with sterling uh, under pressure because of increasing talks about another cut by the Bank of England. Now, we think that the Bank of England will ultimately have to cut um, either two or three times uh, in 2008, so bringing rates down by ne another 75 basis points, uh, while in Europe uh, the ECB remains very hawkish, and although we don't expect them to hike rates, they will probably keep rates stable throughout 2008. So the interest rate differential clearly moving, uh, and that interest rate spread clearly moving in favor of the euro. And since uh, you mentioned rate differentials, let's take a look at sterling dollar. Um, the BOE is indeed expected to ease rates uh, going into the new year. And with sterling dollar uh, back up um, around 199.55 uh, from 198.39 late yesterday, um, given current conditions uh, and with your sterling under pressure, what levels should traders be watching for um, the sterling against the U.S. currency? Well, I think uh, given uh that we've seen a turnaround uh, in uh, last week, or beginning of this week, bottoming just above uh, the 197 level. I would watch 197 as a strong support level. If that breaks, we will basically have to go right back uh, to the low that we've seen uh, in the middle of August at 196 and a half. So those two levels, I think, are very, very important on the support side. On the resistance side, probably looking more at the psychological level of two rather than anything else. So those are the levels on the sterling that at the moment going into the last few trading sessions of the year, uh, we will watch very carefully. Okay, and Matthew, uh, now turning our focus over to the yen. Um, in today's session, U.S. equities have been in negative territory, with the Dow tumbling on both geopolitical news as well as economic concerns. And as a result, we're seeing the carry trade come off. Um, but going into the coming session, what's your forecast for dollar yen and the yen crosses? Uh, I think the uh, dollar yen, uh, the yen will probably benefit for, from continued uh, dollar weakness. So we could see uh, 
uh, dollar yen falling a little bit further uh, than current levels, although we've already seen quite a significant drop today. Uh, we could probably see it going towards the 112.75 level, testing that important support level. Uh, on the upside, just to complete that uh, currency pair, we're looking at 115.72. Uh, but against the crosses, it seems that uh, the yen is currently struggling, especially against the, uh, the euro, where we've seen it uh, really taking off uh, since no uh, November the 7th. Uh, and, uh, well, we had, uh, sorry, uh, November the 7th high uh, is now seen as, as the big support uh, level. And we're looking for euro yen on the uh, resistance side 167.75 and on the support side 162.82 but as i said we do think that going into year and despite equities being on the pressure it seems that the yen is struggling a little bit against the majors okay. with the exception of the u.s dollar and uh, before we wrap it up, if we could take a look at um, the currencies of the Aussie dollar and the Canadian dollar. Um, in North American afternoon trade, Aussie dollar is around 87.75, and dollar CAD is uh, at the 98 uh, level. So briefly, if you could give us your outlook for the Aussie dollar and the CAD. Yeah, Aussie dollars um, holding up, uh, as you've uh, mentioned, carry trade, yeah. moving sideways with maybe at the moment a slight weakening bias. But we, we remain fairly optimistic about the outlook for the Aussie dollar, at least for the next few months, uh, more as a result of a weaker U.S. dollar. So we're looking just for, for the next few days, trading ranges at 85.51 uh, uh, to 89.10. And on the Canadian dollar, uh, similar story, having done fairly well and strengthened during the, uh, the last part of December. Uh, looking for and support the dollar Canada at 97.23 and uh, should we see for some reason that the Canadian dollar come under pressure we would be watching a level just above parity of 101.86 as an important resistance level for that currency there. Okay Matthew, as always thank you very much for your insight and analysis. You're welcome. That wraps it up for your Forex Market Buzz with Matthew Strauss, Senior Currency Strategist at RBC Capital Markets. I'm Remy Hokey. Join us later this afternoon for PM Exchange right here on ForexTV.com.